Welcome to Cobwebs and Cords. My name is Jan and typically I talk about all things tea related. So whether that's technology and new products or vintage pieces and you know old things that I've found at thrift shops and stuff. However, today I am going to show you what I have in my collection of teapots that's actually not a teapot but a coffee pot. If you're new here, thank you for joining. I would love it if you follow along, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see next. Let's get started. First up, we have this wonderful coffee pot. It's a Flori, Flori Express made in Italy. It is a ceramic top, and I've seen this style of um, coffee pot that you would put on the stove. It's an espresso type one and it bubbles up above here. It has a filter system in here which I've taken apart. Uh, I think I need to maybe get a new filter but I am going to test this out. I'm anxious to see if it does work or not because it looks like I have all the parts unsure if it's actually going to seal. Don't think I would put this on our glass stove top as I'm sure my girlfriend would freak out but I love that it's ceramic. Typically you don't see that ceramic and the pink flowers. Now when I looked this up online I did find that there was blue flowers that were printed as well and I don't know, it's really super cute. I love it. I couldn't pass it up when I saw this at an antique store or a thrift store. I purchased this one on one of my travels when I was in Ontario, Canada. So it made it into my collection. This was actually the first coffee pot that made it into my teapot collection. So yeah, I, I really like the style and the shape of it though. So. Moving on, moving right along, da, 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 da. I have a friend, his name is Andrew, and um, during sessions together he would always say, moving right along, and all I could think of was that, um, I think it's Sesame Street or something, moving right along, da, 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 whatever, anyways, all right, on to number two, this would be, one of those finds that I got in the local thrift shop. It is a Manitou by Grinley, and I love this pattern. I think it's called like Onion Blossom or something. I'm not quite sure, but I love the black and white. It's just so beautiful with the black top. I love how swoopy the spout is. It's just, it's really gorgeous. So I couldn't pass this up. I considered possibly um, selling it, but I don't know, I really like it, and if I touch it, it brings me joy, so that means that I should keep it, right? Although I think that everything that I could touch could bring me joy, so maybe I'm a hoarder, <laughs> and I have issues. <laughs> I don't think that's the easiest way to clean out a house because clearly if you brought it in, it probably brought you joy. Oh, this old coffee mug from the local McDonald's brings me joy. I think I can use that again, so I'm gonna keep it. Don't, whew, move, moving right along. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, next one, love this. Now, I'm not quite sure if you've ever seen this one before. I believe it's from about the 70s and you may be shocked to learn, but the uh, maker of this one, Ikea. <laughs> Shocking, but I love it. So it just goes to show that, you know, Ikea can last and you know, you can end up with a vintage or an antique piece from Ikea. And I love the flowers on this, the colors and stuff. It's not, you know, full, so it has the white, which I really like it gives you some breathing space, I think is what they call it. It's in excellent condition. Looks like it was barely ever used. There's no chips or cracks or anything. I love this lid, like it's very unique and then it dips down, super cute. The spout isn't as swoopy as the Grinley one, 
but it's still really cute. And that is called Mid Midsommar? Midsommar. Midsommar? I don't know. You take a peek and tell me what you think it's called, how to pronounce things, because as you know, if you've followed me, I have no idea how to pronounce things. The neat thing about this one is that I also got the creamer and the sugar with it. So cute. And they're both stamped on the bottom, the Ikea, so very, very cute. Love them. Just adorable pieces. That's the thing with collecting teapots and coffee pots is that a lot of times the creamer and the sugar or the milk and the sugar come with the unit and I can't bear to separate them. So I do end up getting them. But I hope to one day have a display that I saw on Pinterest once. Maybe if I can, I'll link that here or show you a picture of it. And I just really like how it looks. And it also had taller coffee pots as well. So I think that's where, you know, I, I really enjoyed that. And like I said, I touched it and it brought me joy. That means I keep it. So <laughs> anyways, I just wanted to share with you three quick uh, coffee pots that are in my teapot collection and if you have any in your collection or if you have one of these I'd love to hear about it leave me a comment down below and we can chat up about it thank you very much for joining until next time take care now it's time for a coffee party because that's what people have with coffee pots right coffee party Bonk. okay Jan calm the crazies